Medusa is one of the most famous figures in Greek mythology, known for her petrifying gaze and serpent hair. She was one of the Gorgons, monstrous creatures known for their power, terror and deadliness. However, the narrative surrounding Medusa is quite complex, encompassing themes of beauty, violation, revenge and transformation. Medusa was not always a monster. In fact, she was originally a beautiful maiden. She served as a priestess in the temple of Athena, the goddess of wisdom and warfare. As a priestess, Medusa took a vow of chastity and dedicated herself to the service of the goddess. However, the sea god Poseidon, struck by Medusa's beauty, pursued her. Unable to resist Poseidon's advances, Medusa was violated by the god in Athena's temple, a desecration of the sacred space. This event significantly shaped Medusa's life and destiny. When Athena discovered what had transpired in her temple, she was enraged. However, instead of punishing Poseidon, Athena turned her wrath onto Medusa. In some interpretations, Athena's anger was sparked not by the desecration of the temple, but by Medusa's violation of her vow of chastity. In her rage, Athena transformed Medusa into a monstrous gorgon. Her beautiful hair was turned into venomous snakes, and her once radiant countenance became so horrific that anyone who looked directly upon her was turned to stone. Medusa's transformation can be seen as a form of victim blaming and punishment for a crime she did not willingly commit. However, her monstrous form also became a source of power. Medusa was feared by all, and she lived in isolation until she was beheaded by the hero Perseus, who used a mirrored shield given to him by Athena to avoid meeting Medusa's gaze directly. Despite the tragedy of her story, Medusa became a symbol of protection after her death. Her severed head, or Gorgonian, was used as an apotropaic symbol to ward off evil, as the petrifying gaze retained its power even after her demise. So, as for Medusa's motivation, it seems rooted in her forced transformation and isolation. Medusa did not choose her monstrous form, it was a punishment forced upon her. And yet, this very punishment gave her the power to instill fear and command respect, something she might have sought after being a victim of such a grave injustice. The story of Medusa remains one of the most tragic and potent tales in Greek mythology. It highlights the punishment of the victim rather than the perpetrator, the transformation of beauty into terror, and the dual nature of her monstrous form as both a curse and a source of power. Today, Medusa continues to be a symbol of female rage, resistance, and resilience.